Hi everyone. Welcome to our daily 5-minute English lesson. Over the next 3 months, we'll cover 100 essential adverbs. Even if things seem tricky at first, just keep going. This is my secret technique for helping you level up your English. Listening to explanations in English is crucial for improving your listening skills and expanding your vocabulary. Let's get started. Today, we'll learn about the adverb subsequently. Let's start with a quick quiz. What does subsequently mean? 1. Before something happens. 2. After something happens. 3. At the same time as something happens, think about it for a moment. Ready for the answer? It's 2. After something happens. Subsequently means afterwards or following something else. Imagine a sequence of events. First, you do one thing, and then something else happens. Subsequently is the word we use to connect these events in time. It's like a chain of events where one thing leads to another. First, let's talk about the tone of subsequently. It's a formal word, so you'll often find it in written English, business contexts, or academic papers. Because it has a formal tone, it tends to appear in more structured and formal writing. In everyday conversation, it might sound a bit too formal. Instead, you can use then or after that, which are more casual and commonly used in speaking. Since subsequently is a formal word, we need to use it in formal sentences. Let's look at where to place it in a sentence to express ourselves correctly. When you want to use subsequently at the beginning of a sentence, you might say something like, She graduated from college. Subsequently, she started her own business. This is perfect when you're talking about someone's career or life events in a sequence. If you want to use it in the middle of a sentence, think of it like this. The company was founded in 1990 and subsequently became very successful. This works well when you're describing the growth or progress of something over time. And when you use it at the end of a sentence, you could say, The meeting was postponed and will be held subsequently. This is useful when talking about event scheduling or plans. Imagine you're talking about someone's career. You could say, he finished his training. Subsequently, he got a great job. This shows the order of events clearly. When describing the growth of a company, you might say, the new product launched in January and subsequently became a bestseller. This sentence helps to illustrate the success following the launch. And if you're discussing an event schedule, you could say, the game was delayed and will be played subsequently. This keeps the timeline of events clear and organized. Subsequently is often confused with therefore and consequently. Let's see the differences. Therefore and consequently show a cause and effect relationship. For example, he didn't study, therefore he failed the test. He failed because he didn't study. But subsequently just shows the order of events. He graduated. Subsequently, he moved to New York. He moved after graduating, with no cause implied. If you're explaining a failure, you might say, She missed the bus. Therefore, she was late to work. This shows the cause and effect clearly. Or, when describing a result, you could say, It rained all night. Consequently, the match was canceled. This also shows the direct result of the rain. Now it's your turn. In the comments, Write a sentence using subsequently. I'll check them and give you feedback. To wrap up, subsequently is a useful adverb to show the sequence of events. Practice using it in different parts of your sentences and remember the differences with similar words. Keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, hit the like button and subscribe for more daily English tips. See you tomorrow.